ways can your game grow entering your, your second season now that you've had a sort of full off season to, to absorb things? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm expecting it to grow a lot. Um, you know, have, having that experience from year one, obviously playing a lot of snaps, um, you know, I, I think all parts of my game can improve. And specifically, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to working on, you know, tracking the ball, um, making sure that I'm improving on tackling, um, just communication, having clean eyes, being able to anticipate stuff a lot quicker. So, yeah, a lot of things. And how can you develop chemistry with, with Quan Alexander despite not being able to practice with him yet? Yeah, I mean, just little things off the field, you know, hanging out with each other. Um, and I think we'll have plenty of time during training camp or, um, you know, leading up to the season to, to do that too. Any first impressions of him so far? Uh, it brings a lot of energy. Uh, you know, he's he's bring he's brung us brung I think bring uh, brought <laughs> brung brought bring all the words uh, brought brought uh, he's brought a swag to the group for sure. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to you know seeing him out there running around. I know I see him during workouts. Looks great. So. Mm. What, what are some of those discussions like? Do you try to diagnose plays while you're back there, or are you just talking about summer plans? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's it's a, it's good to sit stand back there because then we can see everything, um, you know, from that point of view. Uh, we go through you know close calls and seeing different adjustments what we're making, and so, I mean, and most of the time we're just talking trash to the offense too. So a little bit of that. It's interesting you use the word swag. Kyle didn't use that word, but that's essentially how he described mm -hmm. kind of the confidence boost within the defensive group. How do you see that shift that has happened so far? Yeah, I mean, I think every year that we, you know, get more um, of that chemistry together uh, as a group, I feel like that's where it all, it all gets to come out, our confidence. Um, and the more we can play with that, the more that we're going to, you know, instill fear into our opponents, you know, on, on game day and leading up to the to the game, you know, during that week. They should be able to turn on the field and be like, oh, man, we got, we got the Niners this week, so. How much did the guys that have come in contribute to uh, you mean as in like the free agents yeah. or rookies? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, Quan hasn't been out there to, he hasn't been on the field, but he's been out there and you see him jumping off the tape. I mean, I'm from the sideline, it's, it's funny. Uh, you know, D is everything as advertised, you know, his explosiveness, speed, um, you know, he works his tail off. And so we're having to have those guys. I think I said you put a lot on your plate last year and I mean, obviously it was your rookie year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, you know they they uh, they knew that they could rely on me. Um, you know, they they never gave me too much. You know, they were D'Amico was always checking in with me, making sure that I wasn't too overwhelmed. Um, and whatever they told me to do, I did it. And they gave me more and more as I got more confident throughout the season. Um, you know, so leading into that last game of the ramp, uh, that last game against the Rams, uh, you know, we we had a lot of stuff going in, but it, that was when I was most confident because you know, obviously in the last game. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Because I'm I'm watching film right now, and I'm I'm looking at different things. I'm like, dang, I would have called that, or I wish I was out there so we could do this. But you know, I feel like our defense is doing a great job right now. Guys who who uh, you know maybe not would not have gotten as many reps, or who are stepping up during this OTAs, doing an outstanding job. And so uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there with them. Are, are you expected to be cleared right at the start of camp, Fred? And are you? I mean, there's a lot of guys that have been out. I mean, what's the overall sense of? A lot of people are out the anxiousness to get on the field once camp comes. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that you can't really, you, you don't have much control over. You just got to listen to what the uh, what the trainers are telling you, and that's what I've been doing. Uh, you know, they have a plan for me, and I'm just going to follow that. Um, but, yeah, it's just taking it one day at a time. What, what is having three linebackers off the ball? How, how does that change what, what you do? Uh, it, it, I don't think it will change much, honestly. Um, you know, obviously it adds more, more speed behind the ball to be able to add another linebacker back there. Um, and you know, move around the field, but for the most part, I don't think there's gonna be much of a change. Three OTAs in minicamp. Who's the player that's stepped up in your, in your opinion, on defense? On defense? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's guys who have been here. There's a lot of guys who have stepped up, but somebody that's been flying under the radar, I think that should be mentioned, is Alex Brown, a uh, corner that's came in. He's done an outstanding job. He's he's shown up on tape to me. Obviously, everybody knows that Defoe and and guys like that who have. You know, they're, they're taking the game to the next level, but I think Alex has kind of flown on the radar. He's been doing an outstanding job. How does run defense change for you guys with the, the new alignment in front of you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with uh, Coach Casera coming in, they're, they're being taught to come off the ball, uh, you know, hard and fast. And so they're going to they're gonna create a lot of penetration, uh, which should create a lot of edges. Um, and so, 
it's just our job to make them right. You know, as linebackers, we're, we're behind the ball for a reason so we can see everything and play off of them. Is it more reading then? I mean, you guys are sort of uh, reading the play more than you had to in the past? Yeah, probably. I mean, maybe a little bit. Not much, though, I wouldn't say. You, when you're out there, you're just playing ball. I, I wouldn't consider it like, oh, I need to read this, I need to read that. It's, it kind of fits by itself. What is it about Drake Greenlaw that makes him a quick study to the point where he can get all these reps with the first team, even though you guys are hurt? Yeah, he's uh, very smart. Uh, he's, he's out there. You know, I feel like he's our, he's he's pretty confident in what he's doing. He's out there. You know, telling the DBs what what they have or what he has. You know, good communication. Uh, he's fast, and uh, you know, I feel like he's just a he's a, he's a football player at the end of the day. I mean, he's gonna go out there and, and make make plays.